Hey guys, welcome to reading the Bible with Mark series. It would be cool if you hit the subscribe button, like, Exodus chapter 26. Moreover you shall make the tabernacle with ten curtains of fine woven linen and blue, purple, and scarlet thread, with artistic designs of cherubim you shall weave them. The length of each curtain shall be twenty-eight cubits, and the width of each curtain, four cubits. And every one of the curtains shall have the same measurements. Five curtains shall be coupled to one another, and the other five curtains shall be coupled to one another. And you shall make loops of blue yarn on the edge of the curtain on the selvage of one set, and likewise you shall do on the outer edge of the other curtain of the second set. Fifty loops you shall make in the one curtain, and fifty loops you shall make on the edge of the curtain that is on the end of the second set, that the loops may be clasped to one another. And you shall make fifty clasps of gold, and couple the curtains together with the clasps, so that it may be one tabernacle. You shall also make curtains of goat's hair, to be a tent over the tabernacle. You shall make eleven curtains. The length of each curtain shall be thirty cubits, and the width of each curtain four cubits, and the eleven curtains shall all have the same measurements. And you shall couple five curtains by themselves and six curtains by themselves, and you shall double over the sixth curtain at the forefront of the tent. You shall make fifty loops on the edge of the curtain that is outermost in one set, and fifty loops on the edge of the curtain of the second set. And you shall make fifty bronze clasps, put the clasps into the loops, and couple the tent together, that it may be one. The remnant that remains of the curtains of the tent, the half curtain that remains, shall hang over the back of the tabernacle. And a cubit on one side and a cubit on the other side, of what remains of the length of the curtains of the tent, shall hang over the sides of the tabernacle, on this side and on that side, to cover it. You shall also make a covering of ram skins dyed red for the tent, and a covering of badger skins above that. And for the tabernacle you shall make the boards of acacia wood, standing upright. Ten cubits shall be the length of a board, and a cubit and a half shall be the width of each board. Two tenons shall be in each board for binding one to another. Thus you shall make for all the boards of the tabernacle. And you shall make the boards for the tabernacle, twenty boards for the south side. You shall make forty sockets of silver under the twenty boards, two sockets under each of the boards for its two tenons. And for the second side of the tabernacle, the north side, there shall be twenty boards and their forty sockets of silver, two sockets under each of the boards. For the far side of the tabernacle, westward, you shall make six boards, and you shall also make two boards for the two back corners of the tabernacle. They shall be coupled together at the bottom and they shall be coupled together at the top by one ring. Thus it shall be for both of them. They shall be for the two corners. So there shall be eight boards with their sockets of silver, sixteen sockets, two sockets under each of the boards. And you shall make bars of acacia wood. Five for the boards on one side of the tabernacle, five bars for the boards on the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the side of the tabernacle, for the far side westward. The middle bar shall pass through the midst of the boards from end to end. You shall overlay the boards with gold, make their rings of gold as holders for the bars, and overlay the bars with gold. And you shall raise up the tabernacle according to its pattern which you are shown on the mountain. You shall make a veil woven of blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine woven linen. It shall be woven with an artistic design of cherubim. You shall hang it upon the four pillars of acacia wood overlaid with gold. Their hooks shall be gold upon four sockets of silver. And you shall hang the veil from the clasps. Then you shall bring the ark of the testimony in there, behind the veil. The veil shall be a divider for you between the holy place and the most holy. You shall put the mercy seat upon the ark of the testimony in the most holy. You shall set the table outside the veil, and the lampstand across from the table on the side of the tabernacle toward the south, and you shall put the table on the north side. You shall make a screen for the door of the tabernacle, woven of blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine woven linen, made by a weaver. And you shall make for the screen, five pillars of acacia wood, and overlay them with gold, their hooks shall be gold, and you shall cast five sockets of bronze for them. Exodus chapter 27 You shall make an altar of acacia wood, five cubits long and five cubits wide, the altar shall be square, and its height shall be three cubits. 
you shall make its horns on its four corners, its horns shall be of one piece with it. And you shall overlay it with bronze. Also you shall make its pans to receive its ashes, and its shovels and its basins and its forks and its firepans, you shall make all its utensils of bronze. You shall make a grate for it, a network of bronze, and on the network you shall make four bronze rings at its four corners. You shall put it under the rim of the altar beneath, that the network may be midway up the altar. And you shall make poles for the altar, poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with bronze. The poles shall be put in the rings, and the poles shall be on the two sides of the altar to bear it. You shall make it hollow with boards, as it was shown you on the mountain, so shall they make it. You shall also make the court of the tabernacle. For the south side there shall be hangings for the court made of fine woven linen, 100 cubits long for one side. And its 20 pillars and their 20 sockets shall be bronze. The hooks of the pillars and their bands shall be silver. Likewise along the length of the north side there shall be hangings 100 cubits long, with its 20 pillars and their 20 sockets of bronze, and the hooks of the pillars and their bands of silver. And along the width of the court on the west side shall be hangings of 50 cubits, with their 10 pillars and their 10 sockets. The width of the court on the east side shall be 50 cubits. The hangings on one side of the gate shall be 15 cubits, with their 3 pillars and their 3 sockets. And on the other side shall be hangings of 15 cubits, with their 3 pillars and their 3 sockets. For the gate of the court there shall be a screen 20 cubits long, woven of blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine woven linen made by a weaver. It shall have four pillars and four sockets. All the pillars around the court shall have bands of silver, their hooks shall be of silver and their sockets of bronze. The length of the court shall be 100 cubits, the width, 50 throughout, and the height 5 cubits, made of fine woven linen, and its sockets of bronze. All the utensils of the tabernacle for all its service, all its pegs, and all the pegs of the court, shall be of bronze. And you shall command the children of Israel that they bring you pure oil of pressed olives for the light, to cause the lamp to burn continually. In the tabernacle of meeting, outside the veil which is before the testimony, Aaron and his son shall tend it from evening until morning before the Lord. It shall be a statute forever to their generations on behalf of the children of Israel. Thanks for joining me in today's Bible reading. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it with your friends. Catch you guys in the next reading!